friends, and uh, welcome again to yet um, a, a continuation of our discussion um, in the book of Genesis. Um, today, we are going to be looking at an interesting topic. Um, Jacob had an encounter with the Lord, and in the process, his name was changed from Jacob to Israel. But before we really get into the in-depth discussion about um, this topic, I want us to go over some of the topics that we have already dealt with and discussed in the book of Genesis. Um, we started off with the creation, which, you know, um, gives us the evidence that God created this earth and he made everything perfect. But along the line, sin entered through the enemy called Satan. He was able to deceive Adam and Eve, our four parents, and they fall. Um, and as a result of the fall, we saw what happened to the first, you know, children that they had. Cain and Abel. So we dealt with Cain and his legacy. And along the line, we also saw how sin continued, you know, to rage, and God decided to bring judgment. So that was when we had the flood. So we've dealt with the narrative about the flood as well, um, which also indicated not only um, judgment, but also God, you know, trying to save humanity. We also saw and dealt with all nations in Babel, human beings thought to themselves that they could save themselves. They needed to do something. And so they tried to build a tour of Babel, you know, that will reach heaven. <laughs> and in the process of doing that, they failed. And God still had to come down because of his amazing love to save humanity. We also dealt with the roots of Abraham. And we dealt with the covenant where God decided to go into agreement with a man called Abraham and also promised him, you know, a child through which the Messiah will come. And so we've dealt with also the narrative about the promise. And Isaac was, you know, uh, born. And through Isaac, we had also dealt with Jacob, the supplanter. <laughs> we saw how Jacob deceived his brother Esau and you know stole his blessing i should say um and we are going to be looking at the new name that he was given so having stolen the blessing being a deceiver and he ran away you know uh, from his father's house and to his mother's brother laban and all throughout these years we are going to see how he is going to return back to meet with his brother Esau. And that's what we're going to be dealing with today. So to help discuss this amazing topic, on my right, I do have Sister Miriam Ongera. Hi, viewers. Welcome to another discussion. God bless you. Amen. And on to my left, I do have uh, Brother Godfrey Haber. Yeah, hi. We thank God for this moment, and we, we are sure that we are going to be blessed. Amen. Mm -hmm. And as we get into our studies, uh, let us invite the presence of the Holy Spirit. So I'm going to briefly ask uh, Sister Mary to pray for us. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of life. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity you have given us to open thy word. Bless ourselves and bless, their, bless others. Dear Lord, bless our thanks. Help us do what is pleasing you and let the world know that you are our Lord and you are the Savior of everything. Be with us now and forever, for we are prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. amen and amen. So I'm going to start with you, uh, Brother Godfrey. 
Mm -hmm. um, so as I had said in my introduction already, we are looking at a new name from Jacob to Israel. Mm -hmm. And if you don't mind to read for us Genesis 32, mm -hmm. verses 1 through 8, mm -hmm. I want us to see the circumstances there, mm -hmm. um, you know, what exactly happened. Mm -hmm. And let's try to unpack that. Okay. Would you? Thank you. Genesis 32. Uh, verse um, 1 to 11, verse 1 says, Jacob went on his way, and the angels of God met him. And when Jacob saw them, he said, This is God's camp. So he called the name of that place Mahanaim. And Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau, his brother, in the land of Seir, the country of Edom instructing them, Thus you shall say to my Lord Esau, Thus says your servant Jacob, I have sojourned with Laban and stayed until now. I have oxen, donkeys, frogs, male servants, female servants. I have sent to tell my Lord in order that I may find favor in your sight. And the messengers returned to Jacob, saying, We came to your brother Esau, and he is coming to meet you. And there are four hundred men with him. Then Jacob was greatly afraid and distressed. He divided the people who were with him and the frogs and the herds and camels into two camps. The one camp and attacks it, then the, the camp that is left will escape. And Jacob said, O God of my father Abraham and God of my father Isaac, O Lord who said to me, Return to your country and to your kindred that I may do you good. I am not worthy of the least of all the deeds of steadfast love and all the faithfulness that you have shown it to your servant. For with only my staff I crossed this Jordan, and now I have become two camps. Please deliver me from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him that he may come and attack me and mothers with the children. But you said, I will surely do you good and make your offsprings as the sand of the sea, mm. which cannot be numbered for multitude. Amen. 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 So mm. let's, let's, let's unpack this. I mean, mm. this is there's an interesting, you know, mm. um, circumstance that we're seeing here. Yeah. So let's, let's talk about what's going on. What do we see going on there? Yeah. So here it, it, it takes back uh, what was going <coughs> on before he plans to, to to come back to the land of uh, Canaan because he was at Laban's press, mm -hmm. spending there almost 20 years, you know, working 14 years right. for, two, for two women. And whatever was going the background issue he had with his brother Esau mm -hmm. because he deceived him. Uh, he, he stole his birthright, mm -hmm. and instead of the father blessing Esau, who was the elder brother, he blessed the Jacob. Mm -hmm. So by him going to Rabban, staying there, of course, he f uh, we, we saw that he free because his brother was angry and wanted to kill him. Mm -hmm. So him now, God saying, return back. We are seeing here his now that I stole my brother's the birthright, the blessings, the still the, the sin was still hunting him, mm -hmm. which made him like, How am I going, you know, to meet him? Now, on addition to the fear and the the sin consequence that was still within him, right. he saw. The, the brother bringing the 400. Now he was like, I'm done. <laughs> so actually, like as a person, you, you know, you, you, you try to, to say, okay, now, 
since I mean almost going to die, what I can do, maybe it might be like a big army. Let me uh, divide, let me see if my family would at least survive. Because I think he still had in mind that uh, for God had commanded, had uh, gave a promise, mm -hmm. the covenant that uh, he's going to be the great nation. And through that kind of uh, the, the, the lineage, he was like, if now he's destroyed, how is this going to be fulfilled? Right. And that's why in his prayer, he reminded God, like you promised, mm -hmm. you know, that w we, we will be uh, a multitude that cannot be numbered. Mm -hmm. And now we are going to face him and we are going to be killed. So here, the reasons are that what he had done was still hunting him. And he had not yet again reached to this point where he would think he would face his brother, he was still afraid. That's right. Because he knew, like, now I'm done. That's Since right. he is coming, and whatever I did, he's going to revenge. Absolutely. Thank you very much for, mm. for bringing that out. And to your sister Miriam, I mean, do you want mm. to add to that? Yes, please. Thank you, brother Godfrey. Mm. Uh, as you have said, Jacob was living in, the, in his uncle's home as just a refugee. Yeah. And they used to pray for forgiveness. But when he heard that the brother has 400 army, mm. now he doubted God. Yeah. So he went back to cry to God, oh God, mm -hmm. with all that I have achieved, I have children, I have the, 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 the flock here, I'm going to, to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. So he almost gave up. That's when he decided to divide them into two. So in the case, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm done, and the other, let me divide them, that maybe the other group will be spared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here, Jacob is doubting the promise of God. Mm -hmm. No, he's praying to say, Lord, mm -hmm. did you forget what you promised me? Yeah. So, but uh, the Lord, being a merciful father, mm -hmm. he had to answer him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Jacob is afraid of his brother. Mm. So true. And he doubts the prayers he has been making to God. Yeah. So true. Mm. Yeah. And, and to me, I think I still see a disturbing picture here. Yeah. yeah. The fact that he still had this mindset, because mm -hmm. he's still trying to be manipulative. Mm -hmm. You know, he's setting up two camps. Yeah. yeah. Right? Mm. And he's literally for almost forgetting that this is the creator that has promised me. Mm -hmm. And he's going to come through for me. It also shows how frail and weak we are as human beings. And so yeah. our exactly. hope and trust, exactly. I mean, to our listeners and our viewers, we cannot do without the help of God. That's exactly. true. Without the help of the Holy Spirit, we are nothing. And this is what exactly, you know, Jacob is reflecting here. This is what he's showing. Hmm. He's still showing his human part, okay? Forgetting that the Lord will be able to help him to come through. I want us to make, you know, a little progress, and I'm going to go I, to you. I wanted to, to add on that. Uh, Jacob, he prayed, and yet he was doubting that whether mm -hmm. God would answer him. That's mm -hmm. why he decided mm -hmm. that, oh, if he's coming. I, thought, I think he thought that God would stop the brother from mm -hmm. coming, and he mm -hmm. thought the brother was coming to fight him. He didn't know the intention of the brother. So he was crying again to God back, which means as human beings, mm -hmm. when we are okay, we don't even remember to pray. Mm -hmm. Jacob remember, oh my goodness, now I'm done. I have to go back to God. That's mm -hmm. why he's crying and say, God, you remember your promise. Yeah. So as uh, weak people, as human beings, we should always remember God, whether we are in achieving what we want, whether we are in trouble or mm -hmm. we are okay, because we don't have to pray because we are in trouble now. We are sensing danger. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Uh, and, and I liked the fact that he's claiming the promise. Yes, Because the promise. when we are faced with challenges, yes. where do we run to? Do I, you know, pronounce myself as a sinner that I don't need this grace? So, but him, you know, coming to God, it's a lesson to us that 
regardless of whatever we are going through, the challenges or the issues we are facing, yes. actually, God is waiting to help us. So Absolutely. this is an encouragement for me that regardless of whatever he had done, he said that now nowhere to run, actually have to run just to God. Amen. Exactly. Mm. Amen. Yeah. Exactly. And, and, mm. and that's the right approach uh, mm. to our views and listeners. That's mm. the right approach. The right approach is to come back to the Lord. Mm. And in this case, Jacob was very honest in his prayers. He cried out. Yeah. You know, to the Lord. And the Lord helped him at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. um, let's make a little progress. So Sister, Sister Miriam, I want you to read mm -hmm. for us uh, briefly the book of Genesis 32 again. Mm -hmm. and, and let's look at verse, verses 13, 14, and 15. 13, and, 14, and 15. Right. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Genesis 32, verse 13. He spent the night there, and from what he had with him, he selected a gift for his brother Esau. Two hundred female goats and twenty male goats, two hundred ewes and twenty ram, rams, thirty female camels with their young, forty cows and ten pools, and twenty female donkeys and ten male donkeys. Sixteen, mm -hmm. he put them in the care, in, in, in care of his servant, and each had by itself, and said to his servant, go ahead of me, and keep some space between the hearts. Seventeen. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Let, let's hold it right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now we see what is going on. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we even continue to read up to Verse, verse 21, mm -hmm. we would see exactly um, mm -hmm. what he was trying to do. Now, looking at this, I want us to focus on the gifts. Yeah. Now, where this, where this, where was he directed by God to put these gifts together for his brother, or what exactly do we see going on here? Uh, according to my understanding, Jacob wanted to 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 somehow to bribe his brother to be sorry for what he did to him. He was trying to look for a way to please his brother. For mm -hmm. sure, I am sorry about it. Can you take this? So I do not think that he, uh, although everything comes from God, but the, he was trying to look for yeah. a way to approach the brother. Mm -hmm. He knew he was guilty of what he did all through. Absolutely. And he, he, suffered, he suffered in his mind. How, mm -hmm. why, where do I go, what do I do, and how can I approach my brother? Mm -hmm. So he was trying to look for a way to appease his brother. Mm -hmm. That's yes. true. Mm -hmm. And so you're saying mm -hmm. this was not God's strategy. God never mm -hmm. instructed him to say, put no, some gifts together so mm -hmm. that you'll be able to no. appease your brother. I it's actually it's, like, yes, uh, like verse 20, it brings what she has just summarized. Mm -hmm. That And you shall say, this is Jacob, moreover your servant Jacob is behind us. For he thought, I may appease him with the present that he goes ahead of me. Mm -hmm. and, after, and afterward, I shall see his face. Perhaps he will accept me. So he, he, he then uh, present past on ahead of him. And he himself stayed that night in the camp. So mm. like she, she mentioned, it's like he, he was trying to work out something, yes. you know. Have you ever been in a situation where we have this, we trust, but we don't have this kind of total, dependent, uh, total dependence uh, maybe on God? And we pray. After praying, we still try to work out to things, you yes. know. And, and, and instead of waiting and, you know, uh, see how things are going to unfold, we try to help God. You know, maybe mm -hmm. God is not answering it very fast, maybe mm -hmm. very quickly. Let me do something, you know, here. Right. So he thought about it. But at the end of the day, we saw that his plan did not, you know, did not work until, you know, like maybe we are going to, to discuss further. Right. Like God, you know, was, had a way to help him out. Absolutely. But he trying all this, mm -hmm. you know, he was... As a human being, you know, we try to work out the things, yes. you know, but we have everything by God's grace. Absolutely. We, when we not do anything, actually, that's where God comes in, when we appreciate our weakness. Yes. That's where, but whenever we, we still have this ego, like the strength, 
I can do it. That one, it's like we are pushing God away. Mm -hmm. We are taking his praise, you know. So he was still deceiving himself that if we, he presents something, you know, he wasn't interested actually in that as we will see in Amen. the next discussions. Amen. Thank yeah. you for pointing that out. So yeah. um, let's, 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 let's make a little progress. And to our listeners, to our viewers again, uh, we see what Jacob is trying to do here. Mm. And just to make it clear, this was not God's strategy for him to put gifts together to try to appease his brother Esau. This was still coming from him, Jacob himself, mm -hmm. still trying to work out things on his own um, to help himself. But God is still merciful, is still mm -hmm. gracious. We'll continue to see, you know, uh, as we read further. So I want us to pay attention to a few texts, and we're mm -hmm. still focusing on Genesis 32. Mm -hmm. And Brother Godfrey, mm -hmm. please go ahead and read for us Genesis 32, 24 through 26. Um, there is an interesting, interesting incident here that I want us to, to unpack. 24 to 26, yes. right? Uh, Genesis 32, 24 to 26 says, And Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until the breaking of the day. When the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob, he touched his hip, socket and Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. Then he said, let me go for the day has broken. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Mm, I will not let you go until you bless me. Mm -hmm. Now, Jacob wrestled yeah. with the supernatural being here. And, mm -hmm. he, and he realized that at the end of the day, that mm -hmm. he was not just wrestling with an ordinary person. Mm -hmm. Okay? But even though he realized that he was wrestling with a supernatural being, actually the creator God himself, mm. Jacob still had nightmares. He still had fears. Mm. And I want us to really look at this, you know. Why was he still struggling, though? I mean, when it comes to the fact that, wait a minute. I have just wrestled with the supernatural being. I have just wrestled with God. Mm. And the assurance is there that he's going to help me. Mm. But yet he still had this nightmare. He still, was still struggling with these fears. Mm. Mm. Why do we think that was? You know, what comes to my mind after reading this passage is the fact that there are times where I don't think God is going to accept me, you know. Even I pray, like in the morning, I still have to, to say that maybe I still need to do something. So as human, uh, it's, it's a human in nature mm -hmm. that, you know, we, until we reach that point where God himself, you know, mm -hmm. comes to us and says, us, okay, relax, don't worry. You know, we still have this uh, going on because, like, we can't help ourselves out. And that's what was happening with, with Jacob because he thought now he's in a situation. He's going to face the brother. Mm -hmm. He's trying to work out things, you know, but he still doesn't have assurance that he's going to survive. You know, mm -hmm. he hasn't finally met. Now, when he, he's in that kind of situation, now the man comes to struggle him. So it was like, Maybe this might be my 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 time that if 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 this person doesn't kill me, you know, maybe I will have maybe a good future. Maybe I'm going to survive even in the battle. So we we see that whatever was going on, even in his mind, you know, mm -hmm. he was still having this fear: How am I going to face uh, the, the my brother? But when, when we saw how he was praying mm -hmm. and he's working out to things and nothing is happening, mm -hmm. I think God came just to show him that until I'm the one to rescue you, you cannot rescue yourself. So here, it was still like an assurance. Right. And him understanding, because uh, when the angel asked him, what is your name in the next verses, until he understood that it's God, then he said, you know, 
of course, he had already understood like when he was struggling with, if it's in the, the normal man, he would have understood. Yes. But him understanding that it's God himself, this was his chance to claim all the blessings, all the, all the strengths, that if he faces his brother, he's assured of the victory, he's assured maybe of the acceptance. Amen. Mm. Okay. And, Thank and you. It's, it's, it's mm. I have yeah. something to add there. Yeah. Yes. In, uh, here, Jacob, if you see, you go back to verse 22, mm. Jacob sends the family ahead. Mm then he's alone yeah being alone here is praying mm -hmm. mm. according to me when i i picture it and i try to think of what he was doing mm. he was all alone crying to god surely yeah. am i going to be able to face my brother mm -hmm. lord i am here because all through you see jacob when he wants to be alone he has to send the family and yeah, being alone and, man, yeah. and uh, that means he was a prayerful man mm. So as he was praying, the man, the angel of the Lord came unto him. Mm. That was an answered prayer. Yeah. But as he was wrestling, that was a doubt in him, he was still not sure, is it God? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Until the angel said, it is daybreak, now I'm leaving. Mm. He realized, no, I've not been answered. I'm mm. not sure where I'm going. Mm. I need an answer to where I'm going because you had promised me to bless me. Mm. He's thinking, being pressed and I'm being approached by 400 men. Is this a blessing to me? Mm. So Jacob was still doubting. Mm. But when he realized that I'm wrestling to somebody, I did not see him coming. I don't see him anything. And he, had, he agreed. He, he knew that I am wrestling with God. Amen. This is yeah. God. Mm. So when he realized it is God, he said, I cannot leave you. Mm. And that is a lesson to all of us. Even my viewers, I tell you, when you are praying to God, lean on him no matter mm -hmm. which situation you are, no matter where you are, mm. so long as you have faith in God, you know it is him and him alone mm. who can yeah. save him from any situation. Yeah. We mm. might be faced with a difficult situation like Jacob. Remember, is mm. going to an according to him to an enemy is going to die mm. but he never gave up amen amen he never gave up mm. amen that is a lesson to us we don't give up in any situation in any circumstance we may be let us fix our eyes into the lord amen. Mm. just amen. as jacob said you are not going until you bless me yeah. and surely he was blessed mm. that's right amen. that was the time he was told and the daytime your name has changed. Yeah. You are no longer Jacob, but you are Israel. Israel. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you for, for, for bringing that up. Actually, you, you already alluded to it, but I'm going to read um, from, and I, again, this is from Genesis 32. Mm -hmm. um, I want to read briefly 27 through 30 here, and this is from the New King James Version. Mm -hmm. um, so as he continues to wrestle and this was what happened, 27. So he said to him, and I'm talking about, you know, the supernatural being that he was yeah. wrestling with. So he said to him, what is your name? He said, Jacob, and 28. And he said, your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have struggled with God and with men and have prevailed, hmm. 29. Then Jacob asked, saying, Tell me your name, I pray. And he said, Why is it that you asked about my name? And he blessed him there. Verse 30 says, So Jacob called the name of the place Peniel. Hmm. For I have seen God face to face, and my life is hmm. preserved. Hmm. Amen. 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 So, so Sister Miriam. Um, let's, let's unpack this and uh, uh, we'll summarize this aspect and then we move on. Mm. Okay, so now he has struggled, he has, you know, wrestled with this supernatural being, he realized that this is God and now God is about to change his destiny, to change his name from mm. no longer the, de the deceived person, the, de the deceiver, sorry, to Israel. Mm. I want us to talk about this briefly 
and as we continue. So what was the significance then of this change of name? And that's really the lesson, I mean, the topic that we're dealing with today. This is a new name from Jacob to Israel. Mm. Talk to us and talk to our viewers mm. the importance, the significance of the change of his name. Thank you, Brother Ibrahim. Uh, the change of name was a change of even the behavior mm -hmm. of him as a person. Mm. He accepted that this is, Lord, this is the Lord that I'm wrestling with. And he has changed my name and my life has been spared. My verse said that I saw God face to face and yet my life was spared. Mm -hmm. The Lord could have destroyed me because they believe you don't see your eye, God with your eyes. So Jacob has accepted that the Lord has mass on me. Mm. Yeah, his grace is sufficient on me. Mm. So he, he was happy now that at much, I am no longer the Jacob, the, the Jacob who is going to face it. My brother, I am a blessed person. Amen. The promise of the Lord has been fulfilled. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. Thank you very much. And, and, and we're going to progress. So, Brother Godfrey, I want us to continue to read. Mm -hmm. I want us to look at verse 33. Mm -hmm. And to our viewers and, and our listeners. And so now the name of Jacob has been changed from Jacob to Israel. That is significant. That is very important. Mm -hmm. That is going to change the activities around him now. He has been forgiven. And we will see how God's promise continues to unfold in his life. I want us to look at the book of Genesis 33. Hmm. And if you will read that for us from verses 1 to 4. Mm -hmm. um, he has encountered the Lord. He is moving on now. He still yeah. continues in his journey. Hmm. Let's see what, what happened there. At 33 verse 1 to 4 says, And Jacob lifted up his eyes and looked. And behold, Esau was coming and 400 men with him. So he divided the children among Leah and Rachel and the two female servants. And he put the servants with their children in front, then Leah with her children and Rachel and Joseph last of all. He himself went on before them, bowing himself to the ground seven times until he came near to his brother. But Esau ran to meet him and embraced him and fell on his neck and kissed him and they wept. And they wept. Mm -hmm. Now, now let's, let's unpack this. Mm -hmm. Was this when he finally met his brother? Okay, mm -hmm. what exactly happened there? Was that a miracle? Or was that exactly according to the strategy that, you know, Jacob himself, well, now Israel, implemented? Mm -hmm. Was that a miracle or was that his strategy that he implemented there? Uh, uh, according to me, to my understanding, still Jacob was worried of the brother. You okay. see, he has divided the family again, once mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. This one goes fast. It's still the any case my brother has not yet still forgiven me. I would like maybe one family, maybe two will be spared. So mm -hmm. he's still doubting. He's, he's still not doubting. sure. So when he saw the brother running towards him, that's when he realized, oh my goodness. That's why he said that I have seen the way I saw the face of the Lord. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Yes, yeah, too. and the, yeah, to add on what he says is like, still you are having like, 400 you know 400 men coming you know with this someone you you still have uh like we have seen the, the fear but we saw that now him humbling himself you know like before his brother like uh kneeling seven times you know it's like he's coming down uh we saw that it on, on, on contrary, he was trying also to find a way maybe to fight him, you know. But him here, uh, kneeling down, we, we know the, the, the symbol. It's like, you know, you are humbling yourself to someone. You are showing that maybe um, I, I, I will just depend on your mercy, you know. Mm -hmm. So this one uh, it shows that much as he was still afraid, 
but he said, okay, let me just humble myself before, before him. And uh, maybe the event, like the encounter with God, maybe humbled himself, you know. Absolutely. There are situations where we, we, we reach in and you just say, I think the only way out is to, uh, to uh, you know, to, to let my ego die away, you know. Mm -hmm. Just let me humble myself and, uh, you know, God wants, I, I think that's the, that's the heart that God wants. He wants us, you know, to humble ourselves and then we leave the rest in his hands. So it, it, even it's a sign of um, uh, the, way, the way they met. Um, God might have worked in the heart of, of his brother, you know, when he was encountering God, wrestling, praying, you know, I think God had already answered his prayer by softening the heart of Esau. Yeah. Because someone is coming with 400 men and intentionally, like, he did not remind whatever was happening. So God might have, God was answering uh, his prayer, like even she mentioned before, and seeing them, you know, unite, it's a sign that God was working with Jacob on this issue. So it wasn't Jacob's way of struggling to find a way out because he was already down. If Esau was to kill him, he would have done it. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Well, yes. Yeah. Um, uh, to add on that, brother Godfrey, mm. when Jacob saw the brother, mm. he again forgot that God was still with him. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he went down to say, please spare my yeah. life. Mm -hmm. spare. He forgot again. What mm. does that teach us? Mm. We as human beings forget so easily. That's God true. does a lot of miracle on us. Mm. But when something small comes, we forget. Mm. So the only weapon we have and we understand, we live by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. It is by prayer. That's true. So as Jacob went down, Remember, he had already separated again the family and all his uh, work. Mm. He's still thinking, I'm going to die. Let me spare some in my brother, may not kill all of them. So what lesson do we learn from here? Mm. We need to lean to the Lord at all times. Again. That's true. Mm. So as the brother went down, the, uh, uh, the brother saw had already been changed by the Lord. Mm. He came very, I didn't know anything. So yeah. as we continue, we can see, we are going to see what happened after that. Thank you. Yeah. Amen. And maybe this is what we call, you know, like God fighting our battles. You yeah. know? Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. And, 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 and to, to continue, and I thank you both for, you know, bringing all of these uh, very important aspects up. Um, and to our listeners, to our viewers, mm. we are almost coming to the conclusion of our discussion today. There are, there are a lot of things really to unpack here and I, I just want to point this out real quick mm -hmm. before we, we proceed. We still see that this Jacob whose name has been changed from Jacob to Israel is still struggling. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because already the truth of the matter is God indeed was walking behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. What happened there when he finally met his brother that was a complete miracle. Mm -hmm. You see how he still tries to strategize. Mm. He is actually, you know, um, putting the, the servants there first, trying to bring this next person to the next line. And this is still the sinful man walking, yes. yeah. trying to walk his way out. And mm. until, you know, God showed him that miracle and that amazing grace. I want us to look at um, a few more texts as we come to, mm. you know, the conclusion here. Um, now, the journey continues, mm. and we'll see the challenges that they faced when mm. they finally got to Canaan. Let us look at Genesis 34. I'm going to ask you, Brother Godfrey, to read that for us. Genesis 34, mm. uh, verses 1 and 2. Mm. Um, something happened, mm -hmm. you know, which was not quite pleasant. I want us to, to, to read that and unpack that, please. Oh, Genesis 34, verse 1 to 2 says, now Dinah, the daughter of Leah, whom she had born to Jacob, went out to see the women of the land. And when Shechem, the son of Hamar, the 
Hivite, the prince of the land, saw her, he seized her and lay with her and humiliated her. Amen. So, we see what's going on here. The daughter of Jacob, now Israel, mm. Dina, mm. was violated. Mm. She was raped. And I want us to quickly touch on this. Okay? Mm. Why was this story about this very horrible incident mm. recorded in the Bible? So we see that after the encounter between Jacob and his brother Esau, they mm. now finally met. We saw the miracle there. All of his fears, you know, were allayed because now what he thought was going to happen mm. didn't happen. Mm. And they continued the journey. He was going to Canaan. He finally got to Canaan. His daughter mm. was raped. Why do we think this was actually, you know, included in, in Scripture, in, in, in the Bible? So... Mm. You go first. Yeah. Oh, th thank I'll, I'll you. I'll get to you. Yeah. yeah, thank you. We have seen a lot of passages in the Bible uh, where we would humanly ask why are they in the Bible, but there's always like a purpose, a reason. Yes. We have seen this is the prayerful person and him being changed, you know, like from Jacob the deceiver to Israel, it's like the, all the nations uh, coming from him, you would imagine or you would think that, okay, maybe he's not going to face any problem. Mm -hmm. But still, you know, he, he faces challenges. That's right. You know, so this one shows that uh, w we may be Christians, we may be followers of Jesus. That one doesn't stop uh, our family members or our other people to have issues as long as we live in the sinful world. Remember, the people like we have seen, uh, these are people who don't know, like, about, they, they don't have the same belief in God. That's right. So whatever the world is doing, you know, it will still harm us. And we living in the world that is full of sin, such as things will come to us, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's a lesson to us that things can still come because w now we we are talking about this the whole covenant yes. and the whole covenant is become is coming because of the sin and god's way of saving humanity but still the consequences of sin whatever we see they they, they are still taking press we, we actually we we there are there are a lot of uh sad stories like this but they are there to teach us that, yes. you know, this is the consequence of the sin. And wherever we go, as long as we are in the world, we are going to face this. But where do we run to whenever these things face us? Amen. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Yes. Thank you, Brother Mira. Godfrey. Mm. Uh, I will look at that uh, uh, instant in, in two different ways. Mm. One... Is that the, as much as you are given, the consequences of sin are still mm. there. So the, 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 the sin of Jacob are now showing up. Those are the consequences. Mm. Secondly, Dina mixed with these people and yeah. went out. Mm. She just left the home and went to visit the women. The mm. statement here said she yeah. went to visit the women of mm -hmm. the inhabitants. So we say maybe she just went without the permission of the, mm -hmm. the parents mm. because the brothers were not there, the father was there, so she just left. Mm. Meaning we need obedience mm -hmm. from our children. Mm. If she could have stayed home, maybe talk to she the, the, the parents, she could have not faced such a situation. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And it, there's a verse he talked about to um, uh, like mingling, you know, yeah. uh, when uh, after seeing all that uh, that happened uh, in verse in verse eight, but Hama spoke with them, saying, "The soul of my son Shechem longs for your daughter. Please give her to him to be his wife. Make marriages with us." Mm -hmm. 
-huh. your daughters to us, and the land shall be open to you. You know, so it's like uh, these people already this land, it's a promised land for, yes. for, for them, you know, from Ibrahim, Isaac, and now, now here we are talking about Jacob, Israel. Mm -hmm. But remember, these are the people trying, you know, to, to say, if you make marriages, you, you, we are going to give you this land. So, like he, she said, it's like they are, they are using the situation that happened with their daughter to think that maybe Jacob will get this land and think that, oh, it's because maybe I made intermarriages with them, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But the, uh, the, the reason here also is that, you know, always whatever God has promised, you know, yes. it will always come. But we will always have a counterfeit. And the counterfeit would come, like she said, maybe, you know, through the, the sons, not obeying, not listening. Mm -hmm. It may be in any way. Yeah, Absolutely. but what, what we have to, to see here is that they, there is, if we are not careful, if we don't depend on God, there is million ways for Satan to divert us. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you very much for bringing mm -hmm. this up. And so, um, to our listeners, to our viewers, we are almost coming to um, the end of our studies today. But before we actually um, read this text, mm. um, let me also point this out. And, and, you know, Sister Miriam pointed out that Dina probably did not take permission from the parent, and mm. she went out. You know, she was trying to visit with the neighbors, mm. you know, um, not knowing them too well. I, I, I also want to point out that, yes, this is not only for children. Yeah. It is also for us elderly people. Yeah. All right? I think it's about us really consulting with the Lord, asking the Holy Spirit to help us to be able to choose our friends, to know who we mingle with. Mm. All right. And so when we are led by the spirit, obviously there is no way we can go wrong. That's true. And so this is a lesson for all of us, not mm. only for our children. Mm. Um, as we wrap our discussion today, I want us to look at Genesis 35, mm. verse 1. Mm. Okay. And, and that's uh, something which I would ask, you know, Sister Miriam to read for us. Genesis 35, verse 1. Mm. Um, and let's, and let's see what mm. is going on there. Genesis 35, verse 1, Jacob returns to Bethel. Mm. Then God said to Jacob, Go up to Bethel and settle there, and build an altar there to God, who appeared to you when you were freeing from your brother Esau. Mm. Mm. Amen. Mm. So when he was fleeing from his brother Esau, he had an encounter yeah. with the Lord. Mm -hmm. You see how God still pursues this man? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because, and this is my thought process, his, his grandfather, Abraham, mm -hmm. was actually promised a child, mm -hmm. the covenant child called Isaac. Isaac. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is now his father. Mm -hmm. Through Isaac, we are made to know that the Messiah, the Savior of the world, will mm. come through. And I see the reason now why God continues to pursue this man, even though, because his promise shall definitely come to pass. Mm. That's what the Bible says. So I want us to specifically look at this. Why is it important? Though? Why is it appropriate? Mm. Okay, because while he was fleeing from his brother, it is recorded here that the Lord appeared to him. Mm. Okay? And this place is called Bethel. Mm. Why is it appropriate for us to reflect or to go back to where we first had an encounter with the Lord? Sister Miriam, I give you this one first. Yeah, thank you, Brother Ibrahim. Uh, our first, for example, when we, we accept Jesus Christ, we get baptized, we go to church, then probably we find uh, things are not going the way we expected. Mm. then we maybe we slide. But when things go bad, 
we need to reflect back and say, where did I go wrong? Something mm -hmm. is a mess somewhere. Mm -hmm. Because our old day, our old times is the best. Mm -hmm. What do I say so? Uh, Jaku was a, a, a chosen person by God. He mm -hmm. had promised. Mm -hmm. As much as he's doing all those things, mm -hmm. God does not change. Mm -hmm. What he will do, he will change you. It is you who will deal with you by all ways. He will make sure he has changed you. So the thing is, our old Christian life is very important in our life. Mm -hmm. We might find new friends. The, the technology is changing. We are trying to catch up with the world uh, modernization. Mm -hmm. But the word of the Lord does not change. Amen. Mm. It does not make you now change maybe the way you walk, the way you, you, you dress, the way you... You remain the same because it is God, because God himself does not change. Mm. So this one teaches us that our old mm. life, the, one, the day you received Jesus Christ as your personal savior, mm. that was the best choice and you have to go back to it. Amen. Amen. So Jacob is being followed again and again because God is a merciful, he's a gracious father. Mm -hmm. he, he, he encounters with him again and again as he keeps on falling. Mm -hmm. So ours is to stand and lean to the Lord. As I tell our viewers that it is only God who can help us mm. move on. Our yeah. old days are the best in our life, Christian life. Leave alone what we are imitating from our others. Mm. You see, Dina uh, came from a prayer for Father. Mm. But when he reached there, he went to mix with everybody. Mm. And you see what happened. Amen. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. And Brother Godfrey, give me the last word here. Yeah, so, so what I have to add on, on what she said, uh, uh, we saw the event that made him free from his brother, you know, mm -hmm. and on his way, God appeared to him. And the, the better, that's when he had a dream, uh, Genesis chapter 28, mm -hmm. and he saw the ladder stretching all the way from heaven to the ground where he was. Right. And he saw that he could only do that by God, God's grace around him to, to reach heaven, you know, coming right. down, God coming down to man to save him. And here, uh, there's, uh, in verse 2, uh, there is where God said, so Jacob said to the household and to all who were with him, put away the foreign gods that are among you and purify yourselves and change your garments. So mm. this one talks much about now, much as God had forgiven him, he was no longer Jacob the deceiver, but now he was Israel. But again, there were foreign gods, you know, even Rachel had stolen, you know, the gods from his father. Mm -hmm. And here you see, still God wanted to work out to something, you know, to do something in his life. So they, they are things, by the time we accepted Jesus, we move on. There are a lot of things in the world. We are not perfect. So God wants every day, like, to think. Okay, think when I blessed you. Think when I met you. That's, you know, we need uh, God the here in our lives. Amen. This is the significance of him turning to the other place. It's like showing that, you know, until you reflect where you met me, until you, like, you need me every day. Amen. So this is the lesson to us that uh, we need God because I, I may not you know like the foreign gods I may be having, you know, uh, whenever we use, we say this word, it may be, you know, something we put in a prayer to repress God, you know. Anything we give glory other than God, you know. So that's why we need him to guide us every day. Amen. Mm. Amen. Yeah. And as we wrap up now, mm. um, I want to thank both of you mm. for joining me here today to really, you know, discuss this amazing topic. And as we continue to um, have an interactive study, about the book of Genesis. Now, I want to say to our viewers, it is extremely appropriate and important for us to return back to where we first had an encounter with the Lord Jesus. Mm. And I'll tell you the reason why. Especially when we're faced with challenges. This world is full of challenges. Yeah. For the fact that we are still here on earth, 
we shall always be faced with challenges. But the good news is that we can always come back to him. Mm -hmm. We can reflect mm -hmm. on this amazing encounter that we have had. Mm -hmm. And that is where we have our safety. That's where we have the peace that God actually has given to us. That is where we have you know, the protection that we are looking for. That's where we have the provision that we are also looking for. And so um, my admonition, my advice to all of us is always stay in connection with him. Yes. No matter mm. what happens, mm. no matter what you face, stay in connection with him. And even if it means you to cry out and say, Lord, I cannot help this. I am weak. Please help me. He wants to help us. He wants to save us. Amen. Till we meet here again to continue um, discussing this amazing book, I hope and pray that all of these things that we have discussed, that we have learned, would have strengthened somebody's faith, will continue to grow our faith, and keep us till the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, I'll ask you, Brother Godfrey, to close for us. Yeah. Our gracious Father, our Lord, we want to come before you this moment again. We have learned that, Lord, you are God who sustains us. Father, we pray that you continue guiding us. Forgive our sins, Father, and for the word that we have learned. May you continue explaining more uh, about your will to us. May you continue to teach us in different ways that you want us, uh, Lord, to learn. Father, we have learned that, Lord, the way you worked with Jacob to help him, uh, the purpose, Lord, is your promise, the everlasting covenant, Lord, to save humanity. Father, we are here praying that, Lord, we might be going through situations, challenges, and at some point Lord, we may be afraid of how we are going to survive. But Father, we have granted that Lord, whenever we come upon you, whenever we call upon you, whenever we come to you, Lord, you are so faithful, and Lord, you are always willing to help us. So we pray that you help us, Father, in this uh, Christian journey, Father, May you continue to be with us, and Father, whenever your children call you, Father, it's your promise that, Lord, you will hear us. So, Father, we pray that, Lord, you be with us, and may you continue blessing us the way you blessed Jacob, and you changed even his name. Father, we pray, and we know that, Lord, you are with us, and Father, you are going to do wonders in our lives whenever we are with you. So we pray and believe that Lord you have heard our prayers and you have answered because we pray this believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.